derivative of y equals cos x from first principle. The first point on the curve is y equals cos of x. And the second point on the curve is y plus delta y equals cos open bracket x plus delta x. Now I need to make delta y the subject. So I move y to the other side equals cos x plus delta x minus y. So what I need to do now, replace y with cos x. Delta y equals cos x plus delta x minus cos x. In trigonometry, a trig equation that says cos a minus cos of b equals minus 2 sine a plus b over 2 sine a minus b over 2 where a is this is my a and this is the b so i'm going to replace these and these into here because i'm going to use these instead of that so this is cos a that's cos a and that's cos b and there's a minus there so i'm going to re rewrite these in terms of that in terms of the sign so delta y equals minus 2 sine x plus delta x plus x over 2 sine x plus delta x minus x over 2 delta y equals minus 2 sine 2x plus delta x over 2 sine the minus and the plus cancel out of sine just get delta x over 2 now i need to divide both sides by delta x but these two we cancel each other out so i get minus 2 sine x plus delta x over 2 because that's sine 2x over 2 plus delta x over 2 that'll be 2x over 2 plus delta x over 2 and then sine delta x over 2 and that's delta y. I need to divide both sides by delta x, so delta x here, and then I'm going to divide that by delta x. It's the same thing, because they're multiple. I need to make this delta x and delta x over two looks the same. So I'm going to put, divide this by two, and if I divide it by two, I'll times it by two. Two divided by two cancel out, I get delta x. The reason why I'm done, I've done that is to have delta x over two and delta x over two. And in doing so, that two here, we cancel that two. We get uh, delta y over delta x equals minus sine x plus delta x over two sine delta x over 2 over delta x over 2. There is a relationship that says that uh, the limiting value of sine theta over theta equals 1 when theta tends to 0. So this is important to remember. And think of theta as delta x over 2. So sine delta x over 2 over delta x over 2. So delta x over 2 is theta. 
and that we equal to zero when the, when delta x over two tends to zero. So that's the limiting value here. You can see one by the way, sorry, not zero, but one. So now we can say in the limit, the limit when delta x tend to zero, delta y over delta x will tend to dy over dx. Therefore, we can say dy, therefore, delta x over 2 will tend to 0. We can say dy over dx equals minus sine x plus delta x over 2 is 0. So that's zero. Sine delta x over two divided by delta x over two equals one times one. dy over dx equals minus sine of x. So that's the derivative of y equals cos x. from first principle.